I've got my alternate, alternate alter ego here um, because today I am feeling a little rough under the weather and I have decided that um, our dear friend Becca here is going to be my alter ego for when my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome seems to be winning. So that's going to be where we're at today. Okay, so I have got myself set up with the chat. I can actually respond to the chat today, which is fantastic. Um, I will be in the chat as Evan's Family Lego Project because I haven't quite mastered yet uh, setting up recording from my phone and also being uh, available on my, um, my laptop at the same time. But I've got some really exciting stuff going on today. So we've got a bunch of stuff to open. I had a big day at Target today. I got a call from a friend of mine who said, oh, they've restocked everything. You've got to get over here. And she was not kidding. They had a ton of stuff that I uh, do not have myself already. And I'm really excited to show you some of that stuff. So we are going to check out a couple of new things. And first, I'm going to start. I've got some of these Foodie Mini Brand Series 2. I've just got four balls. Um, I need to open them really quickly because I have um, to restock my Mercari shop. I actually would have gotten more, but they that was all that they had at the Target I was at. But I did get two very exciting things today. And then a third came in the mail, um, and I did not even announce on the live stream uh, post that I was going to be doing this. But check it out. So here's what we've got. Today, we will be opening the entire series of Miniverse, Make It Mini Lifestyle uh, home brands. And I will be doing the weight hacks live with you guys. So I'm going to open a whole case. I'm going to tell you what the weights are for these. No waiting for my full video. I'm just going to go ahead and do it today. Um, also, I have got six of these. So we are going to check out the spring holiday make it mini food the easter themed ones um i believe that i have all three of the known ones um but without having like a whole case of them to do the weights i don't know for sure that i've actually got a chocolate bar that would be wonderful but since i've only got six balls that seems you know probably a bit far-fetched but the other really exciting thing that i have um i'm not really sure how to show this uh, i'll just for now i'll show you the ball so Okay, I had opened a ton of these before, the mini brands fashion, right? As a matter of fact, if you look in the background, you'll see a ton of the purses. I opened every single one, including the ultra rare. Uh, however, there are now 80 iconic minis to collect from this series and not 60. So I found two full cases of the new updated, uh, I guess you can call them wave two of the mini brands fashion. And we're going to be opening these. Uh, doing the weight hacks for the remaining new 20 items. I don't know how many like major items that we're going to have to open it and check out the checklist and find out um, because I don't know how many like purses or shoes that is versus uh, small items. Uh, the original items, it said 60 items to collect and we had like, I think 20 purses. So if that stands, we've probably got, I don't know, what is that? Like five more uh, major items and then a bunch of little stuff. Uh, but we're going to open one of these right off the bat. Uh, we're going to get the weight for these as well. I've already posted the weights for this entire fashion series on my Instagram. So if you're looking uh, to find out that, just go ahead and check it out now. Uh, you can go to Instagram.com slash Crafty Magic Dolls, and that's dolls with a Z. And you will see the weight hacks posted about a month ago for all of the mini brands fashion um, every single purse that came out because the accessories uh, are consistent. So like if you get, for example, the uh, paint can purse that's back here, you're going to get the same four accessories with that every time you open that ball. Uh, so the weights were pretty consistent. So we're going to find out what the new weights are and try to avoid opening ones that I've already got. So I've got... I don't even know how many, two full cases. We will uh, see how much that is. But I want to first start off with these four foodie mini brands real quick. Um, just get these open and see what I will be restocking my shop with. So let's get going. Oh, I'm going to try and keep it down to a dull roar in the background there. Um, my older son is watching my younger one. And my younger one is not too happy about taking a nap right now. I'm hoping that he'll be cooperative um, but if you hear any fussing in the background, that's what's going on. I might have to, uh, stop momentarily to get them under control, but hopefully not. Hopefully the younger one will stay put. 
because he is very much in need of a nap. All right, so let's get this open and see what's going on. Um, hey, there's an app. Yeah, he can have those toys. There's also an apple in the bag for him right there. If you want to take that with you, I bet he would. He wants, his tools. he wants his tools. All right. Well, hey, give him the toys he'll be happy with. All right. Yes, he got new uh, little tool set for Christmas and he's been asking for it. So my older son was kind enough to come out to get him the toys that he wanted because hopefully that will keep him contained and a little bit quieter. All right. Sorry, I didn't expect this to take forever, but these mini brand balls are really something with the glue and the zippers not working. That's why I've gone straight to the X-Acto knife. Also, I haven't had my nails done in forever, so I apologize. My nails look terrible, but it is what it is. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. So right from the start, we've got curly fries from Jack in the Box. Let's see. Oh. I'm not going to drive you guys crazy with this. If I can't get them in focus, I can't get them in focus. Let's see. There you go. Jack in the box. Next, we've got... Oh, I could feel the individual paper packages. There's two of them in here. So this is going to be the two Jack in the box tacos. You get two packages and you get two tacos. Wow, that is terrible. Can't get the camera to focus at all. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. It wants to focus on my face. There we go. All right. So we've got two tacos. I think I'm going to use the mini brands ball to collect the food items. That'll keep everything nice and organized today. All right. Ooh, we got a good streak going. All right. So the next item that we've got is a pretzel hot dog from Auntie Anne's. Not bad. What I'm really looking for today is a Pizza Hut red cup because I accidentally sold one more than I had available in my shop. And so I ordered one online already because I don't ever want to have one of my customers like waiting for something, but I did feel really bad. So I was kind of hoping I could get one today so that I could get it on its way. I'm usually much better about that, um, but unfortunately, I accidentally had something that I included in a bundle for somebody, and so I forgot to take the actual item down off of my um, my Mercari shop, and so that's what happened. Every once in a while, that happens. So I actually had two items like that that I had to find today, but fortunately, one of them was the Pink Betta from the Lifestyle um, Wave 1, or I'm sorry, the Lifestyle Series 1 of the miniverse and I was able to find that easily because I know the weight. So I will be getting those weights up to you guys soon. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open all three of these balls and do it all at once. That way I don't have to annoy you to death with opening the balls. Since I don't have to weigh these or anything because these mini brands are random from uh, ball to ball, you are going to get different weights you know, you're going to get five different items every time you open one. So it doesn't do you any good to weigh these because you're just going to get different items. So let's get this open. I'm hoping that you can't hear my son, my older one in the background. I thought my younger one was going to be the problem, but my older one is on a live stream of his own in the other room and he's gaming. So he's being really loud, but I will not blow your eardrums out. If I have to quiet him down, I'll just go yell at him in the other room if I have to. All right, here we go. So there we go. We got 15 foodies items left to open. So let's see what we get. Oh, I can tell already that we've got a pizza. We've got the Pizza Hut, the Edge pizza. This one has a meaty pizza that is covered all the way from edge to edge. So there we go. Next item is... Oh, TGI Fridays. It's going to be baby back ribs. I am not going to sing, sing you the theme song because I do not want everyone to unsubscribe. I promise you I will never, ever sing to you. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got Pizza Hut. And we've got a different one. This time we've got a pepperoni pizza. I did something 
a little off the wall today and I actually bought, oh, we've got the mini. Oh, that's fantastic. So in this series, there were minis of a bunch of the items and I had almost all of them, but this is one that I did not have yet. So check that out. Right back to back with each other, we get both of the things of baby back ribs. That is awesome. Very, very cool. Oh, you know what? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was confused because of the guy. All right. Sorry. I won't get into that. All right. Look at that. We've got a sushi plate. So that's pretty awesome. I have no idea what like brand or company this is from because whatever it is, we do not have near us in New Jersey. All the rest of these brands are really common and popular and stuff I've seen. But there we go. We got a cinnamon bun, but this is the like fruit one, fruit and berry or fruit and nut or something. Okay. We've got a Java juice smoothie. I had so many of these at one point that I was giving them away as a freebie with a lot of my orders. This is a butter burger, buttery jack butter burger. I tell you what, the most disgusting thing that many brands has ever done was make foodies that actually have a scent terrible idea and the butter burger oh worst thing i've ever smelled <laughs> okay that's not true i was a police officer i've smelled some pretty bad things but that that was pretty bad okay we've got another plate of salmon so we got two of those no biggie i don't mind duple <laughs> duples i don't mind doubles because they just go mm -hmm. in my mercari shop or if i you know am using them for photography a lot of times more than one person is eating the same food Okay, we've got another sandwich from Jack in the Box, but this time we've got a chicken sandwich. So that's pretty cool. All right, we've got five left. So here we go. Oh, we got another buttery Jack. Not that exciting. All right, four more. Oh, another one. And it's the same one again. That seems to be the problem when you buy a bunch of these all together, you tend to get a lot of duplicates. And this was one of those tubes where the that had like the four balls inside of it. So we got a different sushi one this time. We got the salmon. Cute, but oh, I just realized you can't see any of the mini brands that I've opened. My bad. Uh, and we've got another Auntie Anne's pretzel dog. Put that in there. And last but not least, oh, if this is the retro Pizza Hut cup, I'm going to be so happy. Come on. Dang. Oh, I got so excited for a second. I knew we had a cup, but it's just the same Jamba Juice. So, all right. Well, I didn't get the one that I needed today, but, you know, that's all right. All of these will go get restocked in my shop, except for the mini mini, because I did not have this one yet. So I will add that to my own collection. All the rest of these will be up on my Mercari later. One of these days, you know, next time I do a live stream, I'll have to plan ahead and do some kind of giveaway because I love doing that stuff and I haven't done it yet. Okay, here we go. So we have got the Foodie Mini Brand Series 2 knocked out and let's get ready. What should we do next? All right, so I've got options. I can do... Uh, the, we've got the miniverse lifestyle, um, ones that we could open, or we can get into the fashion ones, um, or we can open the six spring ones. Does anybody have any thoughts and opinions? Because I am ready and willing to please. So somebody shout out what you want me to do, or I will take my pick. <laughs> so I... Don't know. I'm kind of evenly excited about all of them. But, all right. Well, if nobody has any preferences or opinions, I guess I will choose. What do I want to open first? Uh, let's do the Make It Mini Food Spring, since I only have six of those. Let's check those out. All right. So, first things first, we got to get out my trusty scale. So, I know you're going to tell me that these are marked, right? So, Let's see if you can see it. There is a baked ham on the side of this one. Oh, that's terrible. You can't really see the pictures. There you go. You can see the baked ham on the side of this ball. And let's see what the other five are that I got. 
So I've got an Easter basket. So that's the Easter eggs. And the next one is the cupcakes. Okay, so I've got all three of the actual, like, identified ones. But there's also, as many of you know, a Willy Wonka chocolate bar that we will be chasing. And I don't know yet for this series which item that it's in. But we're going to check the weights of these and see if we see any discrepancies. So there's another cupcake. There is another ham. And there is another cupcake. Okay, so we've got three cupcakes, two hams, and an Easter basket. Yes, correct. All right. So we will check the weight for the Easter basket first, since I've only got one of those. I will document it and let's see what we've got. So 92.83, let me double check, tear it out. Here we go, 92.83. All right, so I'm gonna document that. 92.83 is the Easter basket. Oh, sounds like my little guys on the run. Hey guys, keep it down, please. Sorry about that. Every time I try to record, it never fails. The little guy is desperately in need of a nap. So I was hoping that that was going to go smoothly, but he is not. Okay. So I have opened up the Easter basket. We're just going to confirm that the contents are indeed the Easter basket. Sure enough, we've got a chocolate bunny. Let's look at the guide and see what we've got. So here is the egg basket, it's called. They don't call it an Easter basket, which is interesting, but I guess they're trying to stay away from the like religious undertones, which, you know, whatever, acceptable, I guess. All right, and then we've got the oh, packing stuff. So I guess if you're not going to call it Easter grass, packing stuff is a ample name for it. And then in the next one, we've got a bowl. And we have not seen this design before. It's kind of a weird off-white minty green. It almost looks like it's glow in the dark, but it's not. Okay. And next, we've got the table that we've had a million times, but it is a little different because we've got a bright purple stand on the bottom. And then we've got our utensil packet. Let's see what we've got in here. We've got the tweezers, which are going to be pearly purple this time. They match my wheelchair. Look at that. Okay. And we've got the egg dipper which is just like the kind of thing that you have in real life. Very cute. And next we've got an actual six pack of eggs. And I saw these on a TikTok yesterday. So these actually change color when you put them in the solution and dye them, which is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. So if you look at them carefully, you can almost see... You can. You can, like, almost see the design. Oh, that's so funny. Look at that. They're so realistic. Can you see the crack in the top of that egg? One of my eggs is slightly cracked. That's so funny. I wonder if, like, every series is like that. Let me see if you can see this. Hold on. I know. My, my hands, my nails are so gross, but look at that. Hang on. Let me see if I can get this to work. Look at that. It's cracked. The little tiny egg is cracked. That's wild. Okay. So you've got six eggs in the container like that, which is super, super cute. And then we've got the ribbon and the bag to wrap the Easter basket in. And last but not least, the actual basket, which is cute. It's like a just a plastic the handle's a little bit flexible. The whole basket's a little bit flexible, which is cute. Nice quality. And 
awesome. So we've got the contents. I will not be making these today because I want to save them for my actual video series. But there we go. So we've got the egg basket. Okay. And we've got the weight, the average weight for the egg basket so far is around 92.83. Okay. So let's take one that we can actually compare. We've got the ham and we've got another ham. So let's see if the difference is, if the two hams have any weight difference. So our first one is 110.40 grams. The next one is 110.83. So 110.83 grams and 110 point, what did I say the first one was? 43, okay, for the ham. So that's going to be uh, the average for those. So I'm not going to open both of them. I'll just open one so that we can take a look at the product because obviously with the weight so close, uh, those are both going to be the same thing. So it does not appear that if the chocolate bar is hiding in a ham, it does not appear that we have it. I have not heard yet. For some reason, I get the impression that it's going to be hiding in a cupcake. I don't know why I got that feeling, but I just do. And I hope that's the case because I've got three of them. And if they are a different weight, then I could still have a chocolate bar hiding in here. All right. So let's take the wrapper off and pop this one open inside this one. Here we go. You know, I'll put all the items on the table this time so you can actually see them. My bad, that was, I'm, I'm still getting used to this whole hostessing thing. Okay, so we've got cherries in with our ham. That kind of makes sense. I've seen that before. Oh, there is our platter. What a cute Easter platter for our spiral ham. And there is, oh, my son is yelling in the background. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear him. He's a room away, but he's being very loud. All right, here we go. Happy Sun Farms. There is the spiral cut ham. I do believe that when we unwrap this, there's actual, yep, yeah, there's a few slices that have already been removed. So you'll be able to pull those away. And here we go. Next, we've got, up oh, there's the topper for the container. Look at that. It's a bunny. Oh, it's a, is it an angry bunny? Looks like a little bit of an angry bunny. Nope, just a happy bunny. All right. We also got another of the adorable basting brush like we got with the turkey, which was really cute. There's our purple tweezers. Doesn't appear that we got any kind of fork or knife, which is fine. Got plenty of extras of those. And then we've got the glaze for the ham, which is to be expected. Next, we have the pineapple rings. Happy Sun Farms. You've got a, <laughs> a pineapple dressed like an Easter bunny, which is very cute. And last but not least, spice rub. Oh, that's an interesting addition. Okay. So it looks like a combination of like an orange and brown spice rub. So that's pretty cool. That will look really good. I'm very excited to actually assemble that one. I really like these like main course meals. And here is the honey glazed ham. And there is the instructions. So yep, it looks like we get a full piece of ham. We've got a couple slices. Then you've got the uh, pineapple rings, the cherries, the spice rub, and the glaze, and then the dish and the basting brush. Everything we've got there. Excellent. All right. So we can clear that item off. Very cool. This is my first look at these, so you guys are seeing them live with me for the first time. All right. Now, here is the kicker. The Wonka bars. It looks like you get an entire box with multiple Wonka bars, a Wonka bar with a golden ticket. Okay. It says ultra rare. I'm very excited about this. However, is it going to be in one of the two that we already opened or is it going, cause they're always in one ball. So if you are opening a, like, for example, the, val the Valentine's day ones. Oops, sorry about that guys. Whoa. 
Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Hang on a second. What did I do? There we go. Sorry. <laughs> you can see my American Girl dolls in the background. Okay. So, sorry about that. I did not mean to do that. Okay. So, in the Valentine's Day ones, if you buy the cake and you buy the cake that weighs 103 grams, it's going to be the roses. If you buy the cake that's like 120 grams or like 100 and, I don't know, it's like 113, 115, 123, something like that, it's, it's much heavier. Uh, then you're going to actually get the heart-shaped cake. Um, with the Christmas ones, if you're looking for the this one, the elf spaghetti, the special green ball and everything that comes with that, uh, you needed to find the hot chocolate ball that weighed more. You were looking for the one that was like 110 grams, 111 grams, as opposed to the hot chocolate that weighed 102, which was the normal weight. So the question is, which one of these has a different weight? So we've already checked the uh, egg basket. We've already checked the honey glazed ham, at least the ones that we have, which is a very small sample size. But we're going to check. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So I've got three of the Easter cupcakes, and we're going to check the weights on these right now and see if we can maybe get a Wonka bar. Okay, so the first one is 105.74 grams. I'll be entering these in the chat. The next one is 106.14. So those are probably going to be the same thing because they're close enough. So we'd be looking for something wildly different. Now, this one does feel heavier. Fingers crossed. I don't know. 107.58. Ooh, that's weird. Well, that's just different enough to make me want to check. You can get the Wonka bar in the ham, Kayla is saying. Oh, well, that's good to know. Unfortunately, that means that I don't have it because I've only got two hams and my hams are the same weight. So I assume that that's not it. Uh, Kayla, do you have any idea what the weight is for the ham by any chance? For the cupcakes. You can get the Wonka bar in the ham one, but I don't know the weight, she says. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I don't know it either yet. Uh, as soon as I find out that information, I will share it on my Instagram like I have done for all the other special ones. So I do apologize about that. But hey, let's open one of these and see what we've got. So, I mean, we know that we've got cupcakes, but we might as well take a look at it while I've got it. All right. So let's check out some cupcakes. All right, here we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I only got six of these. If I had a whole case, I would weigh them out and I'd find the, you know, the outlier and then I would know. But unfortunately, I only got six of them because when they popped up online uh, on the MGA website, I just happened to not have like any extra cash at that time because I had just dropped like two grand at Target within a couple of days. So unfortunately I could only order six of the balls right then, which my husband told me was an like an immediate mistake. He's like, why did you do that? All right. Oh, the ball is golden for the Wonka. That's good to know. Also, I kind of expected as much, but all right. So we've got cream cheese frosting for the cuppy cakes, which is cool. I wonder if that means they're carrot cake cupcakes. We've got sprinkles in Eastery pastel colors. Very cute. We've got the little Easter bunny topper. Does anybody actually use these? I I have like a gigant, gigantic bag of them. I don't use them for anything. Okay, so it looks like we've got... This is actually a helpful tool. I don't know about you guys, but I actually use this for... I think it's more helpful than this. Whenever I use these things, I actually will show you real quick what I do. Because maybe you'll find this hack as helpful as I do. I do not find this nonsense to be helpful these are too flimsy to actually act as tweezers and like if you're trying to spread something like this you'd be better off using the other side you'd be literally better off using that side as like a knife so this is what i do i give myself extra space and i crank this thing open hurt my hand in the process but then i use this which is now long enough that i can like dig down into the bottom of the tub without sticking my fingers in it and I use this to spread. 
So I open up my tweezers. That's what all of the ones that I look like actually end up looking like. They get bent into this shape. I wish they would just give us a more practical, like human sized, um, you know, appliance to, to like put stuff on, you know, to spread the resin frosting or whatever. But, you know, whatever. This thing is actually pretty helpful um, with the kits that this come with, especially the ones with the tub of frosting. Because uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the tub is definitely thicker um, resin than the pourable kind. If it comes with a spout, you're getting like a thinner, more watery resin, but you definitely get a thicker, uh, thicker resin in those pots. So anyway, there is the cupcakes. And as I called it, they are carrot cake cupcakes. So that's really cute. I mean, it figures they're Easter cupcakes. I'm not surprised or spring or whatever you want to call them. And we've got Le Sun Baked Sweets bunny de deco it says we've got some bunny ears uppy ears you got a half lop some carrots that's so cute so there's uh actually toppers for eight cupcakes but you only get six so i guess you can put like carrot ears and a uh and a carrot on more than one you also get the same stand that we've seen a bunch of times but in a new color and it's a little bit bent, so I got to fix that a little, but there we go. So you get the stand to put the cupcakes on. So that's very cute. So that is the contents of the spring balls. I'm sorry that I couldn't do the Wonka bars today. Rest assured, I will have one soon. Hopefully I can get a chance to hop on. <laughs> I said hop, we're talking about Easter stuff. Anyway, um, I will get myself a Wonka bar so that I can get you guys, or I'll at the very least have the information for you. And if anybody gets on to the chat and you know what the weight or the approximate weights are of the golden balls, let me know because everybody would like to know. And I am not a gatekeeper. I share that information as soon as I have it because I want y'all to also be able to get all this awesome stuff, not just me. So... I don't want to be one of those people that's like, I'm the only one that gets to have the cool things because I think that's crap. All right. So any opinions? We've got the two full cases of the mini brands fashion 80 plus to collect. Um, again, I'm only aiming to get the new ones, the ones that just came out in the second wave, because I already have all of the first wave ones. If you actually look around my set, you'll be able to see there's the basketball up there on the top. You'll be able to see most of, there's the clear purse over here. I've got the tote bags, the mushroom bag back there, the paint can. Like literally almost all of them are out here, including the ultra rare baby backpack is up there. So, and the ultra rare Siamese cat is over there on the table because the kitty cat wanted to hang out while I was filming. Isn't that like the most cat-like thing ever? All right, so let's see. Chat, do you guys have any input? Uh, la la la. Does anybody said it? Let's see. I've been trying to find them at my local Target. Kayla says I think it's one twenty, but one person has said that it's supposed to be heavy. So I hope that helps. Okay. So what did we get for the average ham weight? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. So for my hams, I got about one hundred and ten grams both times. Uh, one ten point eight three, one point ten or one ten point four three. So apparently you're looking for one that's heavier than that for the Wonka bars. That is what I'm being told. But don't quote me. I won't announce it for sure on my Instagram until I have that information a hundred percent. So, all right. So let's uh, let's get on to the next one. Um, I have a feeling that the Make It Mini Miniverse Home Goods ones are going to be a little intense because I'm going to have to do a bunch of weighing. I have an entire case of like, I, I've got more than one case. I've got like 26 or 28 of these and I need to make a weight guide for 12 of them. So let's, uh, let's get these checked out because I am interested to see what the new items are. Now, right on the front of the box... On the original box, we had like, you know, the freebie sample items that they always have. If you're, you know, a crazy person like me and you're buying full cases, you get those freebies. Or if you're in the store and they have the giant sidekick display, a lot of times, unfortunately, those items just end up going in the trash. Actually, today, 
for the first time in a long time, I had two Target employees trying to stop me from leaving the store with the um, miniverse, what was it, the appliances boxes, because I had like six of them uh, that were empty. I literally was buying the end of the balls. Hi, Zoe. Hi, guys. Um, I was buying the last of the appliances balls out of like six different boxes. They were like a lot of them only had one and two balls left and they were just going to throw them away. So of course I was going to take them. Um, I try to use them as freebies for people. Like if my Mercari stuff goes out late or I have a little like mistake or mishap or something, or there's any issue with somebody's product, like sometimes they'll buy something and it'll be a miniverse item and MGA screws up and like gives them the wrong resin or, you know, leaves the spoon out of their package. So I try to make up for those things with the freebies. And so I was, I was like, I'll take all these free espresso machines. So now I've got like seven of the teal espresso machine. They were on the front of the box, but they tried to stop me from like leaving with them. The one girl tried to tell me that they refill the boxes and I'm like, mm, respectfully, no, you don't. I'm like, they go in the trash. I was like, I buy these literally every single week, like boxes and boxes of them. I promise you. I'm like the sidekicks, you guys sometimes refill. Really, they don't, but the, the, the potential is there that they could. So like, I kind of understand them not like wanting you to tear the sidekick apart i mean it's more of a retail display but the miniverse boxes are ridiculous like hang on a second i'm gonna grab one of these so i can show you what i'm talking about i'm sure you probably know but okay here we go so i flat out removed this one from the box today uh, this is what i usually do is i just tear them off after i leave the store my husband thinks it's obnoxious to do this in the store, which, you know, whatever. If I'm taking the box with me, it doesn't, I don't think it matters either way. But yeah, so you get all of the product except for the resin. The resin bottle is empty. So what I do is I buy giant jugs of clear resin from the craft store and I tint these with, um, with chalk pastels and you can make whatever color resin you want and have it be perfect. And so I can either choose to make this a completely different thing. So it's not a latte this time. Maybe I want to make it a, you know, a peppermint mocha or whatever the hell I want. But my point is that I can make something different. Um, so, yeah, so, but you get the whole thing here. You get the machine, this, this, you know, the stickers, if you get the boba one, um, the whipped cream. Can, I mean, you get everything. The whipped cream's out of the container. You get the cups. So, like, why am I going to let them throw six of these away? That would be ridiculous. Anyway, they tried. They tried telling me that they were like, oh, yeah, no, I don't think so. I was like, how about you get a manager or loss prevention? And I am not a Karen. I hate doing that. I hate being like, hey, can you get your manager? But I was not letting them throw away six boxes worth of display, like demo things. And I said to him, I'm like, listen, I'm buying the end of all those boxes. So like, I'll just go put the balls back into the end of the boxes, like one ball in each box, and then I'll buy them that way. And they were like, well, yeah, you don't have to do that. And I was like, right. But that's kind of the point is like, if you were going to let me buy the end of the box with two balls in it, then why won't you let me take the empty box? All right. Yeah, I, I'm in the middle of a live stream right now, guys. So Declan, you need to go back in there with your brother. You can, okay. You can take one of your books with you, but please keep it down. Take your, take your, hey, take your sound, his sound book with him. The one with the buttons right there. Go ahead, Doc. Fine. As long as you're not destroying them, you can take your books with you, your winter books. Be nice to them. Uh, I think he's got the Mad Libs, though. Keep, like, you... We'll play with that one together, bud. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Anyway, so here we go. This is the same checklist so far. Um, oh, we've got a new ultra rare item. We've got silver, like, diamondy shoes. Hey, guys. Sorry. Um, okay. We've got the same items up through here. Now, I actually numbered these purses because usually mini brands items have numbers, um, but they didn't. So on my checklist, I numbered them. And so far, they would all be the same. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, and then the new things are all shoes. So this is exciting because I have a feeling the shoes are going to differ pretty significantly in weight. Oh my God, look at all the shoes. They're all shoes. Oh my God. 
all of the new items are shoes. And we've got a bunch of dolls here. So we're going to try all these shoes on and we're going to play uh, My Froggy stuff and say, does the fit fit? And we're going to try all of these shoes that we get today and find out if uh, they fit on Rainbow High, Monster High, Barbie, um, all of them. We're going to check them out. So, oh, damn. I'm an idiot. I forgot to weigh this one. I was so excited to see the checklist that I just like tore it open. Okay, so it looks like all the rest of these items on the other side are the same that we got before, except down the bottom, we've got some more items that we did not see before. So it says all new material, polyester fiber, okay, around this pair of boots. We've got what looks like a rubber pair of like wellies. That one looks like it's made of like a pleathery material. And we've got sandals. So there's four pairs of shoes. Wow, all these shoes. So now I'm confused because in most of these packages, most of these balls, you got a purse and then you got five small items, like five small accessories. So what are we going to get? Well, okay. <gasps> are you... Oh, okay. So the very first item I opened, check this out. We've got a beret, which was in with the super rare items in the first one. And right off the bat, the first thing we're getting is a pair of mini fashion sneakers. And they are really, really stinking cute. I have a feeling... Now, these look like they're going to be too small for Rainbow High. I'm going to actually bring my legit mini-me in here. Hold on a second. Okay, let's bring this down a bit. Let me get the second package open. Oh, now that's weird. Okay, so we got a purse, but with shoes and a beret this time. That's so strange. I don't know what to do with that. So, like, the last time, you definitely always, always got four items. I, I don't know what to do with this. Um, now, I didn't weigh this one, so this one's just kind of a crap shoot because all we were getting out of the... Oh, wait. Guess what? There's another missing item. So, you still got four items. It looks like the other item was just hiding inside the hat. Okay. So, you still get four items. In this one, we got the tote bag, the pink tote bag, which was from the first half of the series. We got the black beret. We got the red miniverse high top sneakers and we got another set of gold nail stickers so that is going to be interesting now after that first one we've got the checklist we know that we've got a bunch of shoes it now looks like the shoes are going to be coming in the balls with the purses which is really going to mess up my weight guide i'm not sure how i'm going to handle this okay i am going to have to bring up yeah, it's one of the people in the chat. Uh, let me see. Gaming Nista said, I thought Series 3 was a bust, and then they added the shoes. And you are so right. Um, I was not excited. Um, I did not like most of the series. There was only a handful of things that I actually thought were decent looking in this series. Um, I wasn't excited about most of the purses. I thought they were really blah and plain. But holy crap, these shoes are a turning point. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is check the box and see how many I've got here because I have I, I literally don't think I can fit this on screen with you guys hang on let me show you oh it's huge okay it's taking up the entire set it is huge okay so it's the entire case and this is I've got two of these so we're gonna find out in just a second we also you can see we got the freebies uh, cage purse, rose purse, sneakers, and thing. And they actually were smart this time. I can't really show you, but behind them, there's a printed image of the purses. So if somebody actually removes the freebies from the box, guess what? It's not ruined. You can still keep it on the shelf and it's no big deal. All right. So let's see. I'm going to open the top of this box real quick and I'm going to see how many balls are in here. And then we're going to get right to the opening or the weighing and the opening. Because I have a feeling that we're going to be in the same boat that we were last time. Whereas, like, the next time we see a pink um, tote bag, it's going to be in a ball with the black beret and the high top sneakers. And 
another gold nail thing and you know and so on and so on so that should mean that our stickers are still consistent or not our stickers our contents of our packages are still consistent so let's see what we've got here all right we opened one and in this box we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay, so it looks like there's twenty-two in this case. Now they that might be one or two less than the actual case comes with, only because my son was messing with them in the cart. My apologies. Um, so I meant to like actually check and find out what came in there, but it might be 22 because it fits pretty well. All right. So let us, how am I going to do this? I need something to make it easier. Hang on. Aha. Got it. Here we go. All right. Let's put one of those cake thingies upside down. I'm going to tear it out. That'll give me something to balance the ball on. All right. So first one is 51.10. Where am I going to keep this information? 51.10. I guess I will just add them in the chat as we open them. Now, unfortunately, unless somebody's got my Instagram up, I don't know how this compares to the other ones. So I'm going to be opening, hopefully not a ton of duplicates, because if I open any that are like straight up just a purse with four accessories or three accessories, I'm going to be so bummed because I don't need any more straight up purses. I'm only, only, only interested in the shoes right now. Okay. So now as always, the first copy of anything that I get is mine goes into my collection. And the second copy that I get, uh, goes onto my Mercari site. So if you're looking for any of these items, you can check out my Mercari after the show and hopefully I'll have them up. All right. This feels like a purse. <gasps> no, it's boots. It's big, tall boots. Oh my gosh. Right off the bat. Look at that. Oh my God, they are tall. Look at those boots. Okay, so we've got the tan thigh high boots and they actually cinch at the top. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, I'm sorry that you gotta go to bed, Kayla, but please check back with us tomorrow and catch up. We will have all the info here for you after the fact. All right, so let's see, 51.10 grams. In that ball, we've got the tan thigh high boots. And next bag, we've got the brown fringe purse. Interesting. So I suppose, am I losing my mind? Did I really only get two items? Maybe that's how it's going to be. All right, here we go. So we've got the fringe purse. So let's document that. So we got the tan thigh high boots and brown fringe purse. I'm going to double check the bag that I just tore open and tossed. I want to make sure there wasn't like earrings in there or anything that I threw into the trash can because every once in a while I have been known to do that exact thing. So let me double check. Oh, yep. Guess what? I'm a big dum-dum. Sure enough. I didn't think that sounded right. Okay. There were purple nail stickers in there that I good and mangled. Purple nail stickers. And also in the bottom of that bag is the gold bracelet. Let's see if I can... Show you the charm bracelet. Oh, that's right. Got to cover her face. There you go. The gold charm bracelet. Here we go. We will put that on your wrist for being such a gracious host today. Okay, here we go. So. And gold chain bracelet. Okay, so we've got the first one. 51.10. So we're going to try to avoid opening another one that is almost exactly that same weight. All right. Next one, 54.27. And let's see what we got in here. If these all are combined like bags and shoes, I am going to be a very happy camper and a little annoyed that I bought like two whole sidekicks 
of like 120 of these things when they first came out because like I said, I was so excited to see them because I loved the fashion mini brands the first time. But like I was not not impressed. I was not loving what they ended up doing with the series. Okay. So we got two bags. First bag, I feel sneakers already. Sure enough, we have some high top, light gray, and light blue, like Nike style running shoes with legit laces. These are really cute. And if you saw the mini brands, um, I'm going to have to bring a table in here so that we can line. I guess I could always just put the couch. I've got my little purple couch. So I can put the shoes on it at the very least. So we've got two pairs of shoes and one pair of boots so far. So we will lean them on there. And as far as the other items that are just repeats, I'm just going to set them off to the side. That way we don't start getting a pile of stuff jumbled up here. All right. What the heck was I saying? I started saying something. Sorry about that. All right. And then the next item is the blue quilted purse. All right. So in that one, we've got the blue quilted purse, gray and light blue high tops. The, what else did we have? The blue fringe purse, the gray and white sneakers. Tell me I did it a second time. Did I seriously like, wow, I need to be more careful. Oh, oh, I see. One of the things fell out. So we've got a lipstick. However, the clear container seems to be missing. It's a gold lipstick with pink. It's really dusty like looking, which isn't what I remember it looking like the first time around. Now this happened the first time. I actually opened a miniverse ball. I wonder if it's inside one of the shoes. I did not get the actual um whatchamacallit, the the top of the lipstick. So I have another lipstick from the first half of the series that came without the top of the container. So let me check inside the purse. Make sure it didn't get caught in there. Nope. And now I have to go back and... Man, I need to stop throwing these bags. That's for sure. I'm going to double and triple check them. Hang on. All right. Not in there. Not in there. What the heck did I do with this thing? Oh, there it is. So, here's the other pieces. We got, and there's the clear piece. All right, good. So, sorry about that. I'm going to be way more careful. All right, we got the gold lipstick with the clear lid. We got the silver chain necklace. So, blue high tops. We got the silver chain and the clear and gold lipstick. Okay. And what color were the stickers? Uh, purple again. Nail stickers. Okay. So that is everything for the 54.27 gram ball. Okay. Now I'm going to be way more careful this time. Don't throw out the packaging before you find all the items. 52 point, oh, 53.01, 53 .01, 01 grams. All right, so that is still far enough away from 51.1 and 54.27. So I'm gonna say, let's do this. Let's go ahead and open it. Now, I may regret it. This might be too close to the one of the weights of the ones that we just opened. But at least I will have an idea. In the last series, the, the weights were all really, really similar. So, like, 
if the, I, again, don't quote me because I don't remember the weights without looking up the chart, but like if a purse weighed 54.6 grams, then the next one was like 54.5 and the next one was 54.61 and 54.64. Like they were all very close. Did I just weigh this one? Yeah. 53.01 grams. Wow. I have got to take my ADHD medication better. Sorry, guys. All right. Two packages. Let's do this. In the first one, I can already see a couple of items. We've got the gold scarf. And, oh, those are cute. Oh, they're so cute. We've got a pair of pink pointy toe sandals with strappy backs. We've got black soles. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to close one of these just so you can see the actual shape of the thing. Oh, I wish I had my nails done. I'm so sorry that my nails are so gross. I took off my acrylics and so my fingers look terrible. My, my nails are all chewed up horrible. Like not actually chewed, which is funny because I do have a horrible tendency to bite my nails, but like right now my nails are just all grizzly because I normally have acrylics on to protect my super thin EDS, like awful fingernails, but I haven't had a chance over the holidays to get them redone. And then the last couple of days I've been sick. So not like, uh, like sick, sick, but like, I don't know, just feeling really run down and exhausted. I think the holidays really did me in. Okay. So we've got the little ankle piece there, little strap that goes around the thing so we've got those so we've got the pink i don't know what you want to call those slide sandals we've also got awesome the gold chain belt which is super cute this is adorable one of my favorite items actually from the first series this is one of the very few things i thought was worth it you get a chain belt uh, or if you've got really teeny tiny wrists, <laughs> but you've got a chain belt with all these little charms. Let's see if you can see any of those up close. They're like shopping related. I think there's a heart and a shopping bag and a shoe and a mini fashion logo. Anyway, it's very cute. And so we've got the scarf, we've got the chain, we've got the pink sandals. And in the other bag, ooh, we've got, cool, the perfume purse. I actually sold out of these as soon as I put them on my website. So they were very popular. And interesting. So you know what? That is the second bag that I don't think I got a nail sticker with. And I checked both of the things very carefully. So that's really awesome because last time I was super tired of the nail stickers. All right. So in that one, we got the pink sandals, the gold and black scarf, the gold chain charm belt, and the perfume purse. Purse. Okay. So 53.01. We know what was in there. All right, excellent. Moving on. We've got, ooh, ooh, 70.70. So we've got a really heavy one. This one is way heavier. Now, if this is anything like the first wave, the first series, um, we got the ultra rare item. Um, we got this and the cat and the beret, all the ultra rare items were in the heavy, heavy ball. Um, but, you know, obviously we've now got shoes and some of the shoes are going to be heavier than others. So let's take a look at this 70.70 gram ball because that is way heavier than the last ones we opened. And let's find out. Maybe we've got more than one pair of shoes or maybe we've got a really heavy pair of boots. I don't know what the deal is, but whatever it is, I am psyched. I am so excited about these shoes. All right, let's do this. 
we've got two packages. First item, aha. Well, that explains one of the things that was making it so heavy. We've got the pink paint can purse. These are really cute. And since I only have the blue one in the background there, I will go ahead and leave this one on display too. Cute. Oh, nope. See, I almost did it again. Okay, open up the whole package. Open it all up, Chris. All right, nothing in that one. So all of the other items are in the second one. Oh, we've got the kitty. We've got the pink kitty. Now you have a friend on your lap. There we go. <laughs> there you go, Bex. Becca, you can hang out with the cat while we film. We also have this super cute pink hair bow. Somebody said it was like a like a bow tie, like it's supposed to be a, a tie you wear around your neck, but I don't know about that. Um, I think I think I heard that from my froggy stuff from one of her videos. All right, and then the next item we've got is these pink and white. They look like sketchers, joggers, trainers. <laughs> sneakers, whatever the hell you want to call them. Um, again, I'm really impressed that they all have real tieable laces and they don't feel like cheap. Like they're not going to break as soon as you actually pull them to tie them. So that's really cute. Wow. That whole bag was very pink and white themed. So we will call that the pink and white, pink and white bag. You've got the paint can purse. The cat, white cat with beret. Sorry, I'm typing at like a weird angle here. Got the white and pink sneakers and the pink hair ribbon. Excellent. All right. Great. Next item up. 55.03. Let's see. We've got. 51.1, 54.2, 53.0, and 70.70. So 55.01 is just different enough to make it worth opening. I have no doubt that at some point we will start getting into doubles. The question is, how close together are the weights of the doubles? And are we going to see any duplicates? Like, you know, could that pink and white pair of sneakers be in a different... Uh, a different ball or are the items going to be grouped together the same every time like they were in the first wave of the series that is going to be really interesting information but we're going to find out today and then i will post the results all right here we go we got two packages and let's go ahead and see what we got all right first one is a purse i can feel it all right so we've got the hound's tooth black and white and gold purse and there's nothing else in that bag but i checked i thought to check and then in here oh again this is definitely different than last time oh i like how it's kind of themed check this out so along with the hound's tooth purse you get the black and white sneakers with black laces this time you get the gold necklace, which again matches because let me tell you, the first wave, like nothing in the envelope was cohesive. And then we've got the white and gold tag earrings. So were they white and gold the last time or is that a new thing? Interesting. All right. Let me write it down before I forget. All right. So we've got the hounds tooth purse, the black and white sneakers, the gold chain necklace, and what was the fourth item? Oh, the gold tag earrings, gold and white. Gold and white tag earrings. All right, we're going to check off the checklist real quick, just so that we're keeping track of things. Hang on one second. I just need to get a Sharpie marker. One moment. Okay, I got it. All right, let's do this. So, we have not found any of the ultra rare items yet. 
But so far we have checked off the blue plush purse. We have found the pink paint can, the hound's tooth, the perfume, the pink tote bag, the brown ruffle. We've also gotten the white and black sneakers, the white and gray, the white and pink, these pink and gold ones, these chunky red and white ones. Let's check off the other side. We have also gotten the clear lipstick, the golden black, no headbands, no eyewear. We did get the pink bow. Man. Okay, we got the white and gold tag earrings, the silver necklace, and did we, yep, we got the gold chain one also. We got the beret. We have gotten the gold charm bracelet. None of the ankle bags. We got the white cat. Way less nail stickers this time. Go them. Only gotten one of each of those. We got the gold chain belt and the super tall boots so far. So that's where we're at. So we're doing good so far. We have not found any duplicates and hopefully using the weights, we are going to avoid them altogether. So let's see, 54.67. I know that's going to be close. We had a 54.27. Okay, so I am going to set this one aside and maybe open this one later. Let's go on to one that we know for sure is different because that one is pretty dang close. So we've got 61.76 and that is definitely 61.76 grams. This one is going to be significantly different than any of the ones we've done so far. So let's crack this puppy open. All right. And if anybody's got any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the chat. I do have the chat visible. I know in the past I have posted that I wasn't able to watch the chat while I was um, opening because I was on my phone. But if I am filming in my studio like I am today, then I definitely can uh, check out the chat because I've got my laptop open next to me. So here you go. I've got two packages. Got the guide. Chop the ball. And let's see. Oh, I already can tell one of the things that's in here. So we're going to start off with the blue and white paint can purse. And I do have one over there. So I don't really need to leave this one up. But why not? All right. Check the bag. Nothing else is in there. And then in the other one, we've got oops, something new again. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. We've got some great items in here. Oh. Awesome. Oh, let's see. Okay. So first things first. Wow. These are so cool. Look at these feather heels. Feather heels. Like, look at that. That's awesome. They've got black tips. They've got clear plastic straps. And like, obviously faux feathers, which I'm all about because I don't like animal cruelty. So that's very cool. And attached to the feather is the buckle. Oh, that's so cool. That's just so awesome. Okay. So let's put the blue feathered high heels. Like Once again, we're, we're staying with a theme. So we've got the blue and white paint can, the blue and white heels, and then we've also got the silver and black uh, bow, which is awesome. I actually think this one looks way better than the ones I got in the first series, and that's interesting because this bow only showed up with the ultra rare items in the first wave. So if you did not get the ultra rare item, you actually get the opportunity to get this really nice black and white hair bow. 
And then you also got the other adorable kitty cat. So now we've got all three cats from this series on stage. We've got the white Parisian cat. We've got the black cat with the pearls or the gray cat rather. And then we've got the ultra rare Siamese kitty back there wearing shades. So here you go. What do you think? Do you want to be the crazy cat lady today? And oh, hold on. Let's see if we can get her to hang on to the other kitty too. Oh. My wheelchair is getting a little crowded. There we go. It works. It works. She's got both of the cats. Okay. So let me document what came in this one. We will do the checklist about every like five items or so. That way we don't get like overwhelmed with it. Okay. So we got the blue and white paint can, the blue feather heels, the gray kitten with pearls, and the black and silver mirror ball hair bow. Perfect. All right. Up next. Oop. 52.25. Let's see. 52.25. All right. We've done 51, 54, 53, 70, 55, 61. Nope. So 52.27. It settles out at 57 or 52.27 grams. And so it looks like a lot of the weights are going to be close, but it so far they're all like about a gram apart from each other at most, which is good because obviously if you're going to the store with your little trusty scale, like I do, that means that you can find out what you're buying before you buy it. And that is the goal because surprise toys while awesome, suck in their guard that they're surprise toys. We should not have to pay for things that we don't know what they are because that's crazy. All right, so two packages. Uh, let's do the purse first. Big and puffy. I can feel it. And we've got probably my favorite purse from the entire first series. You've got the crazy hippie <laughs> mushroom, like insane embroidered. Oh, it's got a lot of fuzzies all over it or as my toddler would call them fuzzers there we go very cute i love this purse mine's already up there all right and then to go with the mushroom purse we've got oh sweet we've got a pair of slippers fuzzy ugg style mini fashion slippers we've got sunglasses very cute we've got a set of nail stickers and there's the other slipper just checking the package all right so let me document this before i forget we opened the mushroom purse we got the fuzzy pink ugg slippers we got the i think those are red sunglasses Somebody correct me if I'm wrong because I'm red, green deficient. And those are definitely the red nails only because I can tell red nail stickers because I can tell that they are not the purple ones or the gold ones. So they must be red. Red nail stickers. There we go. All right. So, yeah, these are adorable. These are so cute. They, I'm going to have so much fun trying these on the dolls. In a little bit, but I want to get them all open before I actually start tearing into what's what. All right. So we documented what we've got. And let's open another one. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I got 12 left in this box. And that's not counting the one that we didn't open because it was very close in weight to another one. All right, 57.74. Let's see, is that a double? 57.74. Nope, 57.74 grams. That looks like it's going to be a unique weight. It looks like most of them are in the 50s range. So that is, and of course, these weights are all going to be completely different from the ones that are from wave one because so far it seems that every single item 
thankfully, is completely different. So we don't have, like, yeah, we're getting the same purses, but at least we're getting them with other items. So nothing is a full duplicate, which is nice. So, okay. Got our two packages. Two bags. Yeah, the bag charms. Oh, the bag charms are so cute. I have the ones from, which series were these? How cute and insanely high quality were these bag charms from the earlier series? The bears, they're like heavy, like they're like legit heavy. And then I also have the clip on ones, the, um, I don't remember what they were. It was like a gold something or other, but I do have them. They're just not, I don't think I have them sitting here in the background. All right. So first item, we've got the all black purse with the chain handle this is like the most boring bag i mean honestly realistically this is the only one out of the series that i would personally carry in my real like day-to-day -day life probably i'm not much of a purse girl this actually looks almost exactly like the coach purse that i bought when i was like 17 <laughs> and like was dying to go to coach and buy myself a real like expensive purse anyway so we got the black one and then oh okay so we've got the hoop earrings right out the gate the gold hoop earrings and we have also got the other gold hoop earring and we've got the silver cuff bracelet and oh i'm really excited about these whoa these are straight up like doc martin style oh look at those damn those are nice wow the only way they could be nicer is if they actually zippered up the side because like obviously that's a faux zipper that would be like wicked expensive look at the look at the tread on these things oh, it's gonna be so interesting to see what dolls these fit i do have a feeling that they're not gonna now this rainbow high doll um becca is like not a traditional body type so her legs are much thicker so i know just right off the bat that she's not going to fit these shoes but i will bring in a regular um like one of the standard rainbow high dolls and see but i have a feeling that barbie is going to win in terms of who fits these shoes just just from first glance i love these docks are freaking awesome holy crap those are so cool so so far top item all right so let's see 57.74 we've got black doc martin's boots we've got the black purse with silver chain got gold hoop earrings and the silver cuff bracelet okay yeah, those bear charms would make cute earrings. I think I've got doubles of those still. I should I should actually take a look at that. That'd be kind of a cool project. All right, let's see. 59.37. So I think once again, we are still like hacking away at this box with no known doubles. I might go back and open that one that was really close in weight. Because nothing's to say that two balls couldn't like legitimately have very similar weights. So maybe, maybe we'll do that one next, but at 59.37 grams and a quick glance back shows me that we do not have, nope, we don't have anything too close to that. So let's open it. Wow. So back when I told my husband, when I bought these, that hopefully a bunch of them would be duplicates and I'd be able to return them. I was wrong. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Sorry, apparently I'm going to be opening most of the first case. Hopefully, I don't need to open the whole second case. However, if I want to stock these on my Mercari store, then I would need to do that. Because so far, I have not gotten any duplicates. All right, we got two bags. First bag. Okay. Oh, oh neat. I see a theme. We have got a hat with pink and gold and roses. We have got shoes, sneakers, with pink roses. We've got red nail stickers. 
And I can guess which purse this is. Anybody want to bet it's the one up there with the roses on it? Ding, ding, ding. I was right. So they are definitely doing themed balls. So that's that's kind of cool, actually. Um, I I like that, surprisingly. All right, so let's see. This is the rose ball. Got the rose purse. White sneakers with roses. Got the pink hat with roses. And the red nail stickers. Boom. All right. So, got another pair of sneakers up there. And let's clear those items off the side. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's double back and look at this one that was really close in weight to another one. And we'll see if we've actually got doubles. Maybe this case, because I've got one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 11 balls, including this one. So maybe that's it. Maybe like an entire case is one of every ball. And, and that's what you get in a case. I mean, that would be remarkable for people like me that like to be sure that they're going to get what they're, you know, get everything. But um, that remains to be seen. It also, does that mean that there's going to be an ultra rare one in every box? We shall see. All right. So one more time, the weight on this one is 50 poor, oh, 50 poor, 54.63. 54 can't talk 54.63 grams and i think this was really close yeah we had a 54.27 so let's see if this one overlaps with let's see if this one overlaps or if it just so happens to be because remember we've got purses that are like very similar to one another we've got like three of those padded purses we've got a pink one a blue one and a white one. And then we've got like two tote bags. We got a white tote bag and a pink tote bag. They're exactly the same. So conceivably, if you had like similar items in a ball, you know, like a tote bag and a pair of sneakers and, you know, two other small accessories, it's conceivable that the weights could be really close. So let's see. So far, they've been sufficiently spaced out and that's all I care about. All right. Two bags. First item is... Ah! Sure enough, it is different. So we've got this, like, I don't know if that's more Coach or more Louis Vuitton sort of inspired, but that is the white patterned print purse. And then in the bag that goes along with it, we've got, oh, our first double in so much as we just opened these red rose sneakers so that's interesting so we've got two pairs of those we also got the gold sunglasses and the solid gold headband which the headbands and stuff definitely don't fit rainbow high but they do fit barbie quite well so all right let's jot that down so we've got the white purse with rainbow pattern we've got the white sneakers with roses again uh the gold headband and gold sunnies okay so interesting our first shoe double but the ball was not a double so i'm still calling that a win all right 53.74 53.74 grams. And do we have any other 53s? 51, 54. Yep, we got 53.01. So much lower. So 53.01 and 53.74. Still a pretty good stretch. I would assume that these are two different things. I would think for sure that these are going to be two different items. But maybe I'm just really optimistic because we've had all this luck and no doubles so far. That could be what's going on. Really curious to see if we're going to see the ultra rare items from the first series or if they're like only going to be in the first series sets. And then if we're going to end up seeing the ultra rare items from the second series, because like those are always the really hard things. Oh, that's what I brought up earlier. I started telling you guys I did something crazy. The crazy thing that I did was I used a little bit of my Mercari money from selling stuff to buy the red Pizza Hut travel bag. 
I had to. I wasn't going to get it, and I didn't want to spend, like, $600 buying more and more and more Miniverse just to literally try to get that stupid pizza bag. Especially since the Miniverse items aren't selling that particularly well on my... Or, I'm sorry, mini brands. The mini brands foodies, they're not... I mean, they're selling okay, but they're not selling, like, super great. Okay, so, new stuff. We've got the ankle bag, the pink and silver. We've got the Christmassy hair bow or necktie bow, whichever it's supposed to be, if anyone wants to confirm that. We've got, oh, probably my favorite pair of sneakers thus far. These are really cute. Hang on. They are black and two different shades of pink and white. They absolutely look like something that I would wear myself. And so let's go. We've got a pink ankle bag, pink, black, and white sneakers. So what purse? We're going to either have like maybe the pink coat or maybe the padded pink bag. Up, oh, sure enough, I called it the padded pink bag. All right. So we've got the padded pink bag, the black, white, pink sneakers, the pink and silver ankle bag, and the red and green hair ribbon. Which, that's weird. It, obviously, this does not go along with anything else, but I guess they had to squeeze it in there. All right, so we've got another pair of sneakers on the couch. All right, we're going to do two more, and then I will check back in with our guide to see how far we are from having everything. Okay. 51.54. 51.54 grams. Now, I know we're starting to get into familiar territory here. Did we have a 54? Yeah, we had a 54.27. Wait. 51.54. So I'm looking for something in the early, low 50s. 51, 51. Did we have any 51s? We had a 52, 53, 51, 10. So we had a 51, 10. Now we got a 51, 54. Sounds like I'm talking in 10 codes, <laughs> like when I was a cop. All right. So 51, 54 grams. And let us get this thing open and see what we got. I am interested to hear what everybody thinks of all the shoes that we've opened so far. And do you have a favorite pair? And if so, is it one I've opened so far or is it one that you're looking forward to seeing me open? So, all right, two bags. I think this is the purse. Excellent. So we have not seen this one yet today. This is uh, red, right? Yeah, this is the uh, one of the red. Uh, it's not the same quilted purse that we got in the three colors, the pink, white, and blue, but it's also a like quilted padded. Here we go. And it's got the gold medallion and the gold. It can either be a shoulder bag or you can pull the chains up and make it a like just a regular purse with short handles, which is pretty cute. All right. So we've got the red quilted bag. And then let's see what our accessories are. We've got what in the world? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Staying on theme for sure. I feel like we're, oh, no, we've got all the items. Okay. I'm like paranoid now. All right. So we've got, again, I'm going to, I'm going to assume all these are red because I know that that bag is red. Uh, but if they're putting green items in there with me, they're just screwing with the colorblind. So here we go. We've got red ankle booties and these come with actual adjustable straps that you can tighten them. Like, look at this. Can you see that? You can actually pull and cinch it that. I mean, that's quality. Good job, mini brands. Well done, I will say to you. And then we also have the red sunglasses and the lipstick or the lip gloss, lip liner, whatever you got. I don't do makeup, so sorry. <laughs> 
Uh, so, okay. So interesting. We did get the red sunnies earlier, but you know, again, not a big deal to have the, uh, the accessories duplicated as far as I'm concerned. So we got the red sunnies, we got red and black lip gloss, I guess we'll call that. And then the red ankle boots. Awesome. We are killing it. All right, let's check the checklist. Where's my checklist at? Let's see how we're doing here. Because I like to know how close I'm getting to the end. All right, so, so far we've got that checked off. We got that and that. We got both the gold and the red. Let me bring this over here so you can see it. We got the gold and the red sunglasses. We've only gotten the gold headband so far. We got the Christmassy hair tie. We got the gold hoop earrings. It does bother me that they made these like really metallic looking in the in the guide. Like that. I'm a little offended. Like, check this out. Hold on. Like that looks like a metallic. Like that is not that. Like, I really feel like they like made the prototype earrings and then they were like, oh, the gold reflective paint is going to be too expensive. And so they gave us the much cheaper, matter, dull ones. Anyway, all right. So we've got the rose hat. We've got the silver cuff bracelet. We have now opened the pink and silver ankle bag. We've had both cats. We have gotten the red nails. We got the mirror ball. Uh, those are just black rubber boots, it looks like. Those are not the, like, Doc Martin style ones. Those look like wellies. But we did get these. So that's cool. All right. On the other side, we've got the pink padded bag. Oh, why is my Sharpie dying here? All right. Pink padded bag. We have not gotten the white one yet. Uh, we got the patterned one and the rose one and this red patterned one. We've gotten both of the paint cans. Oh, come on, man. We've got a brand new Sharpie for this. What is going on? All right. Uh, we've gotten the mushroom bag. Oh, I should be writing on the desk, clearly. Uh, we have not seen those yet. Not that. We did get the plain black. Come on, plain black purse. All right, so here we go. We've got our Doc Martens are right here, which are very cute. Uh, there's our feather ones. Uh, we've gotten the Ugg looking ones. We've gotten the Rose sneakers. I got it right on the table. This is driving me crazy. Wow, it's almost like this Sharpie got wet or something. It's like not writing properly. And then we do not yet have that pair of slippers. So I marked off the rose ones twice since we got them twice. So we still need one, two, three, four. Oh, we did get those. The pink, black, and white sneakers. So we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of shoes. Let me look at how many balls are left in the box. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's eight. There's eight balls left in the box. Does that mean that we've got one of every one, including? That would be so exciting. Okay, let's find out. Let's knock out the last eight. Fingers crossed, because this is going to be a damn revelation if this is actually what is in a full case of these things. That's amazing. Especially because the first ones only came out in the sidekicks. So like your, your only choice was to like pick random balls. So I know a lot of people got duplicates. All right, here we go. 63.01. 63.01 grams. Taking a look back at the list. Yep, 63.01. Mostly in the 50s. We have not had this weight yet. So, 63.01 grams. And let's see what we got. 
most likely what I'll do is pick out whichever item I think is going to be the most popular or um, whatever you guys request. Or if we have the limited edition, I will look for that. And then I will go into the second case and actually check to see if, um, like, if the weights are very, very similar between the two. All right, I know exactly what we got in this one because I can already feel the purse is the basketball. So we've got the pink basketball purse. And that means we're going to get a whole host of pink things in here. Oh, sure enough. We've got the scarf, which is adorable. Terrible, terrible, like, quality, though. It's, like, really weird. Like, look, I don't know if you can see this here. Like, it, it seems like it would be cool, right? Because it's, like, kind of stretchy. But it feels like, 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 chalky, like, chalky cardboard. Like, it's not at all, like, fabric-y. It's very weird in that regard. Let's see. And is it going to totally mess you up if I put a cool scarf on you? <laughs> uh, maybe it doesn't go with the outfit. Or the cats. Oh, no. Kitty's down. All right. Here you go. We're going to give you the scarf and have you looking like an old lady sitting there. <laughs> here we go. I'm going to let the cats go off screen for a few. All right. Here we go. So we've got that. The shoes in this one are our second dupe. We've got the two pinks, black and white sneakers for a second time. We've got the black ankle bag. Did I miss something? Sneakers, scarf, ankle bag. Sneakers, scarf, ankle bag. What else was in that one? Man, this is what's wrong with ADD. See, I got a little distracted by the cats. Let's see. Okay, so we got the... What was the purse? Oh, the okay. Basketball purse. <laughs> wow. You ever want to see somebody's ADHD in real time? Okay. Basketball purse. Uh, the pink scarf. The pink, black, and white sneakers. Second time we've gotten them. And then the all black ankle bag. Perfect. Okay. Good. Documented. Done and done. All right. Next, we've got 56.54. 56.54 grams. And let's see what we got. I'm so proud of my kids. I hope my younger one is taking a nap and not driving my older one crazy. My older one has gotten pretty quiet too, which I really appreciate because he was being super noisy gaming earlier. Like, I love when they actually behave themselves when I'm trying to get something accomplished. All right, here we go. In the ball, that is 56.54 grams. And again, this is pretty close in weight to some other ones. We've got a black and white purse which is great. Oop. Wow. I am so clumsy today, but we have not seen this one yet. Not in today's opening anyway. We've got the little cute bag tag. There we go. All right. And then, so we've got the black or white purse with black trim, I'll call it. When I put these on my Instagram, I'll inevitably give them, like, numbers. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay. Hey, guess what? So those super tall black boots that I said look like rubber wellies. They are not. They are fabric, actually. They are, like, pleather. They've got a gold mini fashion stamp. They've got a chunky heel. Let's see if I can get these so you can see them a little clearer because they're pretty tall. I think they've got a like faux wood grain heel. They are definitely like a very soft fabric, which is nice. They feel slightly stretchy. So we'll see how that works to fit with the dolls. Along with this one, we've also got the black belt with the gold mini fashions logo which is really cute. 
And we've also got nail stickers in gold. All right, so we've got the white purse, black trim, tall pleather, black boots, gold nail stickers, and what was the last item? Oh, the black belt with gold buckle. Excellent. Okay. Another one bites the dust. Six balls left. All right. Should I do something crazy? Should I like find the heaviest one and see if that's the, if that's the special limited edition? All right. Ooh, I got a heavy one. Okay. Let's see. Wow. That one feels like significantly heavy. All right. 68.89. Let's check the ones that we have left. 46.74. That one's really light. 55, like on the nose. 57.4. 46.65, another pretty light one. And, oop, this one feels light too. Oop, hold on. And 49.4. Oh, and another 50 right on the nose. All right, so let's find that heavy one because I have a feeling, I don't know. It might not be the like super special one, but let's open the heaviest one first because I am impatient and I want to know. So let's see, we've got 68.90. grams. You know, I think I'm going to have to do a separate live stream to open those lifestyle Miniverse, because this was way longer than I expected it to be. I really didn't think I was going to be opening that many of these balls. So I might have to do a separate live stream because I don't want to keep everybody like forever or make everybody feel like they have to wait through, you know, a massively long video to get the information they want. So maybe I will update the topic of this live stream and actually just put that we did the spring Miniverse and the fashion ones the fashion mini brands and then open those home ones in the next live stream. I mean, I can still do it like tonight, but you know, kids willing. All right, here we go. Two packages. Oh, sure enough. So wait a minute. We already opened this one. So that's interesting. All right. So here we go. This that's kind of a bummer because that means like that might have just shot our chances of having the ultra rare in this box. So we got the pink paint can, which means, ah, but this is good news. Okay. So even though we got a duplicate, hear me out. We got some good news because in with the pink and white paint can, we got again, the light pink and white sneakers, the white cat with the beret. And the pink hair bow. So, 58.90. So, let me go back and check what pink and white paint camper 70.70. Ooh, that's interesting. So, they were off quite a bit, actually. So, 68.90 and 70.70 grams are the paint can purse sets and they had all identical items so that's kind of a bummer that the weights are a little off but the good news is is that the contents were right so at least there's that um okay so we got five more balls to open 46.72 46.72 grams let's see what we got Man, I don't know what that's. I mean, it definitely tells me that we don't have a ultra rare in here. At least I don't think so. It seems like it would be really crazy to have like one of every single item. Now, mm, see, but here's the thing. Remember at the beginning when I told you that my son was messing with the balls and he took some of the balls out of the cases? So it's entirely possible that that ball just like came from the other case and just got stuck in there. So that's kind of a bummer. Okay, so this one's 46 point. 7-2. I can hear what sounds like a chain. This is really tiny, whatever this item is. I think this is the purse. Ah, 
So to start, we've got the heart purse. That does explain why it's really light. We've got the anatomical heart purse. And then in the other bag, we've got the white and green emerald necklace, the white and green emerald earrings, and, ooh, fancy, and these black lacy heels. And why I said fancy was because they're red bottoms. I'm not even a fancy shoe person, and I totally know what that implies. I'm not going to try to say the name because, like, I probably would butcher that. But I don't know if they actually resemble a pair of Louboutins. I'm pretty sure that's how they're said. Oh, the paint job's a little wonky up front there. But, you know, a little touch of Sharpie or some black acrylic and that could be fixed. But the shoes are really cute. And that's what's important. So those are unique. We have not gotten those yet. Okay. And we've got just four balls left. Oh, wait, I need to document that one. Hold on. So we've got, in that one, we've got the lacy black heels. Lacy black heels. What was the purse? What was the purse? Uh, oh, the anatomical heart purse. We've got the emerald earrings. And emerald necklace. Sorry, I'm saying that weird. It's because I'm like spelling it out as I'm going. All right. Here we go. 57.36. grams. And of course, I will make a handy visual guide, a chart with all of the weights. So you guys that don't want to watch this all back. Although, who doesn't want to hang out? Like, seriously, this has been fun. But for real, if you don't have the chance to watch it all back, that's okay. You can go check out the weights on my Instagram, but okay, here we go. So we've got the white or off-white cream tote bag. Cute. Very simple. Very plain. Again, like it's fine, but that was one of the things I was super bummed about with Miniverse this series because like that to me is not... Not worth it. Not worth $10 for that purse. Okay, so, wow, this hat is kind of janky. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. The, like, ribbon's, like, all weird and, like, peeling off of the hat. It doesn't fit very nicely. It's just kind of, like, yeah. Quality control, mini brands, mini fashions. You've been so much better. Look at this. It's, like, glued on, all completely jacked. Oh, okay, that, that hat's awful. Uh, okay, but we did get one of the shoes I was looking forward to the most. We got the strappy orange sandals. And they are going to go on. I think these are going to be like, definitely, these are definitely adult collector items. These are not for kids to play with dolls. That is for damn sure. Because your kid would be screaming from the other room, Mom! help me put my shoes on my doll <laughs> like there is no way you would want to give these to like a seven-year-old to put on their barbie they would be going nuts Ugh, i cannot plus i can't get the i cannot get the see this is what i'm talking about like i literally can't get the um strap through the buckle i mean like i know the oh oh that's not good Maybe I should put the knife down. I used the <laughs> exacto knife and I cut the point off of my sandal strap. That was not the best move. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to grab like a pair of tweezers or something to help feed that through because otherwise I feel like there's no way I'm going to be able to pull that strap. Yeah. Nope. Not that one. Maybe it'll work on the other shoe. Or maybe it is ridiculous to be trying to do this on camera and I should give up and move on to something else but i was so excited to see this pair of sandals and they look so much better closed come on i mean i can get the the edge of it through can you see that i don't know if you can see it i can like i can get it through just a little bit oh i think i got a hold of it i did i did i did 
Go me. Okay. Now, realistically, you have to feed this piece back through the band in order to actually go on a doll's foot and stay there. Okay, I have to take it off camera so that I can get this close to my face and see it. If there's any, any chance whatsoever of me actually doing this. Let's see if I can do it. If I don't get it in the next like couple of seconds, I will give up and move on to the next item because I know nobody wants to sit there and watch me try to close or try to try to buckle a doll sandal off camera for 10 minutes while you guys listen to me talk to myself. All right. Nope, I'm not having any luck. It's not. It's like, it's, oh, wait. Oh, God, I got it. I got it just a little bit. Come on. Oh, my God, I got it. I got it. Sweet. Sorry if I just blew out anybody's eardrums. Hope you weren't wearing headphones. Okay, there we go. So, I did it. Now, I do think that realistically, you should have another like band here to like hold that back because otherwise it's going to look really wonky with it just like flapping in the breeze there. But regardless, again, I keep telling myself these are not really technically supposed to be for dolls. Technically, these are supposed to be like mini collectibles, but like, let's be real. We're all getting them for dolls, right? Okay. So there is the little orange platform sandals. I am not trying to mess with the other strap. That will be a project for another day. And then I've got the patterned sunglasses, which is so funny. Like, why didn't this one come with the houndstooth bag? The houndstooth print glasses and the weird straw hat. Okay, so let me document. We've got straw hat with ribbon. White houndstooth sunglasses. We've got the orange wedge sandals and sandals and what was the other item? Hat, sunglasses, sandals. Seriously? What was the other thing? Oh, we got nails. Did we get nail stickers again? Oh, am I going to have to watch the tape back? Seriously, we got sandals, hat, wedge sand, orange wedge sandals, straw hat, white houndstooth sunglasses, and oh, what was the damn purse? Oh, the white tote bag, the off white tote bag. My bad. There we go. I'm a big dummy. I literally couldn't remember the purse that came with it. Okay. Three left. Three left. Here we go. 49.95. I think it is probably pretty safe to say at this point that if you buy an entire case from the store, a sealed case, it looks to be that you are going to get one of every uh, mini brands item, like one of every ball variety that, that exists. Except maybe the limited edition, which maybe those are just sprinkled in randomly. We shall see. Okay, we've got two bags left. All right. Once again, no duplicates. We've got the clear and black and silver purse. You've got the little um, silver or the little white pearls on the front of the bag. That's one of my favorite purses from the series. So we've got the black and clear purse and then the items in here we have oh sweet here's one i was looking forward to we've got the flip-flops the slides the sandals whatever you want to call them we've got the black flip-flops with the white flowers Oh, I am just making a mess of my shoe display here. Knocking stuff over. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, we've got the black and white flip-flops. The black hairband, hair bow, and again, the houndstooth sunglasses. So, 
black hair bow with white button and white and houndstooth white and houndstooth sunglasses all right here we go two balls left there you go oh man i can't get this to balance there we go 54 point 55.01, 55.01 grams. Okay. Let's see what we got. Here we go. And the last two, I don't even want to peek at the checklist because like I'm getting really excited now because I'm really really hoping that the rare one is in here but I'm at least hoping we complete the collection so all right we've got the white padded purse now let me look back hold on we did not get this one yet so the white quilted purse again not a duplicate okay we've got the green and white boots right these are green Yes, I already looked this up. These are green. So we've got another chunky pair. And then we've also got, oh, that makes sense, the rest of the green items. We've got the green headband and the green ankle bag. So we've got black and green boots, green headband, headband, green ankle bag, and the purse was the white quilted purse. Excellent. All right. Hi, Serenity. I see you. All right. Here we go. Here is the last one. Serenity, please stop spamming the chat. All right. Here we go. And the last one is 46.63 grams. Six, three grams. And let's see what we got. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. All right, here we go. And for the last one in the case. I will go back and count all the ones that we opened and then count the ones that are in the other case just to compare. Because like I said, I know that my son had removed a bunch of the balls from one of the cases in the cart and then I had to like shove them back in there in a hurry because we were paying and trying to get out of the store. All right, so here we go. 46.63 grams. This is the last one in the box. Two bags. Here is the item. Okay, oh, there you go. There's the purse that we haven't seen yet. We've got the gold, black, and white, or the gold and black uh, cage purse. And then in the other bag, we've got the white lipstick. And then we've got the white cuff bracelet. And the other bow heels which oh this is gonna mess me up i'm assuming they have to be red only because i'm pretty sure all the other green items i had labeled <laughs> i think these are green or i think these are red rather okay so they're bow high heels same thing it's got that ankle strap so i'm not going to mess with these again right now but they are not ones that we've had before so here we go. Let me add them to the stash. So we've got the gold. You can correct me if I'm wrong. The, I think they're the red bow high heels. I'm red green deficient in case anybody couldn't tell. All right. White cuff bracelet. White cuff bracelet. The white and gold lipstick. All right. So. That was the last one. And now I'm going to take a look 
back at our checklist real quick and just see if there was anything that we missed other than the ultra rare items. So, obviously, we did not yet find the silver tassel sneakers, which or the heels, rather, which is a bummer. But, all right, so we've got the white purse. We've got the clear and black bag. We got the cage purse. We got the heart. Ooh. Did we open this one? I don't think we did. Believe it or not, that's actually a good sign because that means that I think my son did mess with the box lineup. So that that's actually good news. All right. We've got the black and white one. We got the white tote bag. We opened the basketball. We got the black and green. Yes. Yeah, the green boots. We got the black lacy heels with the red bottoms. We got the ones that I assume are red. We did get the flip-flops, which is great. Okay. We got white and gold lipstick. Did we ever end up getting the gold and... I think that's green... No, I don't see that scarf yet. Okay, so we've got that pink scarf. We got these times two. Right? Um, we got the green headband. We did not get the brown one yet, though. We did get the black and white button ribbon or bow. We got the emerald earrings. We got the emerald necklace. Straw hat. Got the white cuff bracelet. The black and green ankle bags. We got the belt. Okay. We got the orange platform sandals. We got the boots that I thought were wellies, but turns out they're like tall pleather. We got those. Okay, so the only things that we're missing are one, two, accessories. So I think we can deduce that the brown printed bag is going to come with the white heels and the gold scarf and the brown headband. That's the only possibility. That's it. Okay. So that's good news. Um, now the question is, what is in the other box? Because obviously I don't think that we have the exact same number of balls. I think that I must have crammed like the extra ones that came out of this first box when my son was messing with them into the second box. And that's where the missing ball went. And I'm hoping that includes two balls because that ultra rare would also be there. Uh-oh. Did we go down for a moment? Did we lose our live, our connection? I'm sorry if we did. Hey, bud. Oh, my son just came out and joined me. What you doing, buddy? Hey. You can eat those, yes. Can you take them back to the room, though, bud? Or if you're going to sit out there, you got to be nice and quiet for mommy, okay? No, I came out there. Uh, talking to me. Uh, me not go down there. Okay, you just got to be quiet because mommy's doing a live stream right now, okay? All right, so let's see what I got in this box. Hang on. All right, so let me count. Every ball that we opened came with a purse, right? So I've got one, two. I didn't put any other purses on the shelves, right? No. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, Open 12, it. 13, 14, 15, Open 16, 17. Me. Hold on one second, buddy. Open 18, 19, 20. 20. It looks like I've got 20. Help. But I could have sworn that I said there was 21 balls. So am I losing my mind? Hmm. Did I hang one up? <laughs> now I'm confusing myself. All right. Here you go, bud. Here's a piece of candy. All right, let's 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 check how many balls are in the other box. All right, one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's interesting. So that means there's probably 21 balls in each box, which is not enough to be a full set. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, 21. That is enough to be a full set. But I got two pink paint cans in my thing. Probably, again, because the balls got mixed up. So now the question is, can I find the missing item by checking the weights? That's going to depend on how, like, random this item is. And it's going to be really hard to do without the weights written out in front of me. So mm -hmm. let me get a piece of paper real quick and see if we can do this. And then maybe I can identify if we have the limited edition in the other box. So give me one moment. Okay. Got a piece of paper. And I got a pen so that I can jot down all of the weights that we did. All right. I'll do it. Uh, hang on a second, buddy. It's hard. Okay. What in the world are you playing with? Here you go. Here, take that. Okay, sorry about that. My son's asking me for help. Okay, so let's see. So the, first, the last one that we opened was 46... 0.63. That was the cage one. And then above that, see, this is why I don't usually do, everybody's like, why don't you post the, the, the uh, weights on your live streams? And I'm like, this is why, because a lot of times it's like me talking to myself and it's not that interesting. All right. 49.95 was the clear curse. Then before that, we've got 57.36. That is the white tote. Uh, 46.72. So really close. That is the heart purse. Uh, 68.90. And 70.7 .7 is the pink paint can need to help okay buddy hold on all right pink paint and then 56.54 is the white purse 56.54 is the white purse with black trim Sixty-three, oh one is the basketball. basketball. Basketball purse. It's a pink basketball. Okay, sixty-three point oh one, fifty-one point five four. Where did candy go? Uh, I don't know, buddy. It was right there. You gotta look for it or get mommy another one. Fifty-one point five four is the red quilted. It's a there. Okay. 53.74 was the pink quilted. 54.63 is the white with rainbow pattern. Fifty nine point three seven is the rose purse. Fifty seven point seven four fifty seven seven four is black purse, gold or silver chain. Let's see. The mushroom purse is 5227. 5227 is the mushroom. 6176. 
is the blue and white paint can. All right, bud, you got to keep it down over there, please. Hey, 5501. 5501 is the house what? tooth. Okay, buddy, I see it. 5501. Candy in there. Okay, take it out, please. 5501 is hound's tooth. No, 70.7. Oh, we already got the pink can. 53.01 is the perfume. 53. Wait. Okay. 53.01 is the perfume. 53. Perfume. You have to go get another one, bud. 5301 is the perfume. 5427 is the blue quilted. 5427 blue quilted. 511 is the tan brown fringe purse. I go. And. I go. Okay. Shh. Okay. So that's everything that we've got so far. From lightest to heaviest. I've got them all here in the order. So let me see if I can check these balls and see if we can identify the one that doesn't match. All right. Here we go. Let's do a speed round. Ready? All right, wait a minute. I got to tear this up. There we go. All right. This one is 64.37. So that should be the basketball. Weird. Doesn't sound like a basketball. We're going to right off the bat eyeball that one funny. All right. 53.19. Yep. That's very or 53.21. That's very close. Okay. Let's check the next one. Whoop. Dang. 54 on the button is really close Where to the blue quilted. Where can we go? I should put a dot next to them. 54 was the blue quilted. 5206 is probably the mushroom bag. What was the first one that I did? Hang on. I'm going to mark them off as I go. 54 is probably uh, 54 is probably the pink quilted. Let's keep going. 50.1 is probably the brown fringe. Forty six point six three is going to be the heart. Probably, I feel like I can hear the chain in there. Fifty nine point seven seven is likely the rose. Fifty four point four nine is going to be the white with the rainbow, I'm guessing. Oh, I'm good. This is going to be so good if I'm right because I'm going to be able to pull it out. All right. Fifty two point eight nine is really close to that's the perfume. Man, I hate when they won't stay on. 55.91. 55.91 is going to be... 55.91. Here we go. The white purse with the black trim. Most likely. We got... 51.13. So we got the brown fridge and the red quilted bag now. Both of those spots are gone. 
that's going to be the clear purse almost definitively 57.82 is the black one with the silver chain 54 even is blue quilted wait did i already get that one Oh, I wonder if I already got that one. Blue quilted. So that might be the hound's tooth. No, that's the hound's tooth. Okay, so blue quilted, hound's tooth. Forty six point six three is the cage. That is like exactly the weight that the cage was on the other one. 56.18 is going to be the white purse. Did I already say that? White purse with the black trim? Uh-oh, I feel like we might have found a duplicate. Crap. All right, hang on. 46.71. Actually, that's going to be another heart purse. So that would be duplicates of that. 57.17. So it looks like this bag has more crossover than we had in the last one. So that's going to be interesting. Oh, this one feels pretty heavy. 61.69. Oh, that's the blue paint can. So this one, which is pretty heavy, 64.35, is the only one that's not really, like, like on top of the weight for another one. So I think I'm going to open this one, and then I'll probably call it. So let me double check this weight one more time, and I'll document it. 64.32. And then I will probably call it for the live stream. I will go post the images and the data um, on my Instagram. And then if it's not too late, maybe I will also run a feed. Oh, my son is over there playing with my American girl <laughs> Volkswagen Beetle back behind me. Don't be sitting in that car. You're too small. You're too big for it, buddy. Yeah, I know. It's so funny. All right. So let's see what we got. Oh, interesting. So guess what? The only other ones that were this heavy were paint cans. And it's not it's not a paint can. <gasps> Holy shit. I literally cannot believe I did this on stream. I opened the ultra rare. Oh my god, you guys. Now. Here's the question. Did I just freaking nail it so hard that the ultra rare shoes are also in here? Because if I did, holy crap. Go me. Literally, out of that entire box that I just weighed, I lined up the weights so perfectly that the only ball that didn't match up with weight was the ultra rare one. I am freaking, I can't believe it. Unbelievable. And holy shit, there they are. There is the ultra rare silver glitter heels in with the ultra rare mini red baby backpack that is freaking unbelievable holy hell i cannot believe i can't believe i just did that and sure enough we've got the siamese cat with the glasses we've got the pink Sorry, my son is being really loud in the back with his toy, but we're almost done. So the pink chain belt, the other ultra rare item, and we've literally got these heels and the mini back. I can't, I literally, even I can't believe I did that. Damn, my weight guides are accurate. Holy crap, that was amazing. I am going to celebrate. Oh, yeah, wait, what am I talking about? We can't finish. I have to try these, these items on a doll or dolls. Um, because we have to know if these things fit. I literally can't believe I just did that. Wow, that was incredible. 
That was incredibly awesome. Go me. All right. So really quickly, let us get some dolls out. Uh, hey, Declan, can you bring mommy that Barbie that's sitting up there? Do you see her sitting up on the shelf? Could you bring her over here, please? Let's see if my son can do this without knocking a bunch of stuff over. Come on. You can do it. Just be, just be careful. Go ahead and grab her, please. You can do it. We'll just move the bags out of the way for your feet, buddy. Come on, you can do it. All right, here we go. Let me get one of my custom rainbow high dolls. She's not really dressed for the occasion. She's just wearing a really silly, simple outfit. But let me go ahead and get her out so that we can use her for her feet. So, Declan, Declan, don't, hey, don't throw all the bags. Just scoot them out of the way so you can grab the Barbie, please. Just make yourself a little space to stand and, and pick up the doll, please. Okay, so let us ask our friend here to try on some shoes for us. Let's see what looks like it would be the easiest to fit. Let's try these boots because they look the biggest. Let's first start by comparing size-wise. Okay, it looks like it... it could be doable. It does look like if you're using one that is stretchy, you might stretch the shoe a little bit. Ooh, it looks like her feet might be a little too long. Let's see. Ooh, actually. Okay, so it's not perfect. However, her foot mostly fits in this boot. So it's a little stretched. It is a little bit stretched. It, it feels a little bit like if you're, you might be making the shoe a little wide. However, it's it definitely fits nicely, actually. And let's see what it looks like. So Rainbow High. Wow. I now okay again. I don't know that this is all the shoes, but she fits into the boots really nicely. Now, there's a reason that I tried these on. These were the most like flexible, kind of forgiving of the shoes. Obviously, it does not look like the heels are going to be a fit because like, I mean, like, can we see this comparison? Yeah, her feet are, are going to be too wide for those. But those boots, at least, they seem to fit. So let's try one of the wider pairs of sneakers and just give that a shot also. Let's see if we have any luck or if this is totally a no-go. I think, I think this is gonna be really cutting it close. I think it's gonna be too, too much. Now I would have to get the flat foot rainbow high dolls to see. Yeah, so it's gonna be way too wide and the arch is too high for the sneakers. However, however, I might, I might be able to get the, um, I might be able to get her, the flat feet from the Pacific Coast High Dolls. They might fit. All right. Declan, you got to be quiet for a minute, buddy. Mommy's almost finished. All right. Let me grab a Monster High Doll and a Barbie, and I will be right back to you so we can try the shoes on them. Buddy. Hey, hey, hey. hey just until I'm finished recording, buddy, because you're he's real loud. I just need you to give me a minute, okay? All right, I've got an Ever After High doll and a Monster High doll. Monster High doll? Yep. Okay, let me bring these over and give them a shot with the shoes. Okay, here we go. Let's try a classic Monster High doll first. So we've got G1. Monster High, lovely, gorgeous, beautiful. Let's get her boots off and see. Wow, these boots are really on her. What is going on here? Whoa. I don't know that these boots have ever been off of her. Oh, okay, so this is a G1 Monster High foot. Width-wise, nowhere near as wide as the Rainbow High. Now, obviously, that's quite the arch. So, like, for a sneaker, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. But 
let's make sure that we've got the left shoe on and we will give it a try. So, nope, we cannot get that tremendously high arch. It's not going to fit into the flat, like the running shoes. It's not going to fit in there. Now, let's see if it'll work with the arches in the boots. So that's definitely better, right? But the question is, will it actually fit? So it does look as if this one will fit. It does look like her foot might be putting, giving the boot a little bit of stretch. You can kind of see the shape of her foot inside the pleather. Um, her heel is not exactly resting on the actual heel of the shoe, but like, it's not super noticeable. So you could definitely like get away with it. Um, if you were dressing your doll and you wanted to do that now, the wider heels, or I'm sorry, not wider, the narrower heels and the ones that are open, like, obviously I don't think this is going to fly. Yeah because you're gonna tear the shoe trying to get her toes in there. You would you would split the shoe apart. So Monster High G1 feet uh, fit a couple of the more lenient pair, um, but not the, not the wider ones. Or not the, I'm sorry, not the narrower boots and not the sneakers for sure. It does look like you could get away with the really high pair of thigh high boots again her foot isn't going to sit all the way down on the heel but you know inside the boot you know with them with them on you're not going to be able to tell so you know I, my suggestion would be tread carefully don't break your um fashion you know your mini fashion shoes but depending on the doll depending on the foot um you know as far as the monster high g1 Thank you to our lovely model. Let's try a an ever after high. Oh, I think we're going to be in the same boat. So she's got even wider feet. Um, her feet are closer, I would say, to the monster, or I'm sorry, to rainbow high feet as far as like the width. So we could probably, again, get away with the stretchy pair. Yeah, we could get away with the stretchy pair of boots, um, which, you know, actually look super cute. Please excuse my this rescue doll and her like gosh awful hair. It's really bad. Um, she was rescued for a makeover, but anyway, so like you could get away with like the boots, probably. Um, maybe even the tall boots. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, I think that these are like really pretty baggy, and you could probably get away with them for multiple brands. Like you're going to, yeah, those will work. Um, maybe the Doc Martens, but remember, no, because the docks are actually flat. So that's not going to work. But you know who I do think is going to fit all these shoes quite lovely? Are made to move Barbie. So I am just now for the first time getting into Barbie. I have literally not touched a Barbie doll since I was a child. Um, and... I got a couple of made to move Barbies because I wanted to be able to try all the fashions on um, with the items that I don't have um, that work with Rainbow High. And, you know, like the items from the mini fashion series that clearly are not going to fit on my Rainbow High dolls. But let me show you that, like the headband. Mm -hmm will indeed fit on the head of a Barbie. Obviously I'm not, you know, doing a lovely job. I don't want to take her hair, uh, her knot that's in her hair out, but you know, my point is that the headband fits over her head. So let us give these shoes an official full on try. So for the sneakers now, they do look like they're gonna be a little bit large in the flat sneakers, however, if you were to put a pair of socks on her, I don't think it's going to be bad at all. 
Barbies do have really little feet. I never realized. And these are made to move. This is a made to move Barbie. So I'm sure that some Barbies have slightly larger feet, but definitely if she had socks on. Now, where this is going to benefit us is with the smaller shoes and the ones that definitely won't fit the other brands. So for example, Barbie is the only one that's going to fit the sandals. Let's see if I can show you. So the sandals, maybe just a tiny bit loose. They're a little bit long in the front and back, but like, again, you had a pair of pants on her. Nobody's going to notice that. Like, yeah, again, they're a little big, but they're not bad. All right. Now, if you were to put the booties on her, since she's got the adjustable ankle, that's awesome. Like, it literally fits her like a glove. That is perfect because, as you can see here, and we'll demonstrate, her foot can actually match up to that lovely arch so they can sit on the bottom of the shoe, which is great. And then let's see, what are the other ones that are tricky? It looks like the sneakers are kind of a range of sizes, but like, I think this one looks the snuggest. So there you go. That one actually looks like it fits her really nicely. The black and white sneakers. I mean, especially if you put a pair of socks on, like that's going to be great. Plus if you tie the laces, which let's see, let's see if that actually makes a difference. I don't think it's going to like tighten the shoe any but um you know it couldn't hurt at least for the for the look let's see if i can let's see if the laces on the mini brand shoes are long enough for human fingers to tie or if you need to like do it with a pair of tweezers because oh hey guess what i was wrong remember when i said that like i don't know that pulling them tighter is going to actually do anything it does it actually tightens the fit of the shoe. So I will eat my words right now. And yeah, in order to pull an, oh my God, I actually got it. Wow. On the first try too, but more or less in order to knot these, I feel like you really ideally should have, um, you really should be doing it with like tweezers so that you can pull the laces to like a reasonable length. But Point is that I did lace them. I've got them on her foot. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. It's a little, little bit big, but like very reasonable. I mean, it does not look like large or clunky or out of place on a Barbie. So that's fantastic. Now, the most important is, of course, these little heels. Are they going to work? So I'm going to start with the pink and gold ones that I already buckled. Here we go. So I, I just slid this one on because I had already pulled the buckle. So let me, let me, hold on. Let me pull the buckle a little bit tighter. I need to see if I can, oh boy, I keep talking about tweezers, man. Tweezers would be very helpful right now. I know I have a pair too. Hey, Declan, can you get mommy the tweezers that are in the bathroom? No, I don't want to get mommy. I see what you're doing, buddy. Can you grab the tweezers that are in the bathroom, though? They're sitting on the shelf, and Mommy really needs them. No, I'm oh, cleaning He's up. busy. Sandwich mess up. <laughs> oh, you're cleaning the mess of sandwiches up? He's playing with my foodie mini brands at the moment. He took them all out of the bag, so that's okay, though. All right. I cannot pull this tighter without... Tw oh, wait, maybe. See, I'm afraid I'm going to break it if I pull the mini brand shoe strap, like, tighter, because they're they're, like, clearly not meant to have a ton of force exerted on them, but I did lace it a little bit tighter. I did, I did like tighten the strap a little bit. And let's see if you can see this. Like the strap is a little tight around her ankle now. Her foot does fit inside. Now, obviously they're not made exactly for Barbie standard. Like they're not made for a Barbie, but they're not bad. I mean, her foot takes up most of the shoe. With a pair of shoes on, they probably wouldn't look quite so clunky. I mean, I'm not really in love with this particular style. I think it's, I've never seen a real shoe that looks like this. But, you know, the point is that it fits. 
and that I can get it off for her without breaking it and without having to uh, take it off, which is great. All right. So the real question, though, is can I get a pair of like the wedge heels to work? And again, this is without me destroying the straps. That's what the question is, because like I really feel if you pull these straps tight, I feel like you're just going to break them. Like I'm I'm legitimately concerned that I'm going to um, just snap the strap in half just by pulling it to tighten it. Because like, here, I'll show you what I'll show you what the problem is. OK, so her foot is in the orange wedge heel, right? And like you could make this work like for sure. But it's also, oop, well, that demonstrates my point. It's also baggy. It's loose, you know? I mean, I basically can slip her foot in through the ankle strap. And, like, if I pull this strap any tighter to, to like, I can't because it's all the way back. Oh, you can't even see this. Hold on. It's, sorry, it's zooming in on the wrong thing. Okay. So I can't pull the strap any further back because it's at the, the thing. This is like make like could go all the way around her ankle twice, and the shoe the shoe's baggy. I mean, unfortunately, as nice as these are, I just hate to break it to you, but like unless you're posing them and like positioning them perfectly and like not moving your doll at all, I have a feeling that unfortunately these high heels are just not going to cut it even for Barbie, which is really disappointing because that's kind of the only doll that I thought that these would probably work for. Now, even more frustrating, I went ahead and looked at these straps and this one has the feather going up the actual plastic strap. So if you were to put the strap in to like strap it around the doll's ankle, you're going to tear the feather off and destroy the shoe. So that's a bummer. You like the this pair of shoes is literally impossible to put on your doll because the strap, like, whose design idea was this? Like, for real, look at this. This strap should go across and go in through this buckle and should like close to tighten the shoe on the doll. But if I pull this strap into the buckle, it's going to literally shear this feather off and completely destroy the sandal, like the shoe. So there's, there's no, you can't, you can't do it. It's like not possible for them to wear it. So like you can put the doll's foot in there and unfortunately her foot doesn't really, I mean, again, you could probably pose her in a way if you really wanted to to make the heel work but as excited as I was about these heels I don't think they work even for Barbie unfortunately I don't know what kind of doll they would work for because if not Barbie you need a doll whose foot is the width of Barbie's and whose length is like like one and a half times longer Maybe the original, like the older Barbies with the like, like her heel, like the high heel shaped feet. I don't think I have any of like the traditional Barbies laying around here though for me to try. Let me see. Do I have, I don't think I, oh, oh, you know what? I have an OMG doll. I don't remember what their feet look like at all. Let me take a look. I have some OMG dolls here. Hang on. Real quick before we go. Let's try one of these gorgeous ladies. Here we go. Let's see what her feet look like. She's so pretty. This is one of the, the hair dolls. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, she's got... Whoa, that is a really steep incline. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised because their, their feet are like crazy. However, they are pretty narrow. And they are very inclined. So guess what? I think, oh, I think her toes are just a little too wide. I'm afraid she's going to tear the high heel. 
Yeah, unfortunately, I think her foot is just a little bit too. Although, if you were if you were gonna, I would say that the OMG dolls are probably the closest. If you were going to actually try to put a pair of these shoes on and you wanted the doll, um, you wanted her foot to stay in there and you wanted it to fit the best. I think the OMG doll is probably the best fit. Um, her toes are oh, maybe just a teeny tiny bit too wide. A foot need help. Hold on, buddy. Come here. It's Sorry. Hard. All right, here you go, bud. Take them back in with your brother, please. Okay. So, I tried that. Let me real quick see if she can handle. Oh my God. No, <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, like, obviously, the angle of her foot doesn't matter in a pair of amazing boots. But that's really cool. So, at least you know that the docs can definitely go to one of your OMG dolls. Now, obviously, since she's got such this, like, crazy arch to her foot, I don't think we're going to have any luck with, like, the slippers. Yeah, plus, I think her foot is just ever so slightly too, too wide. I mean, you can kind of make it fit, but, like, obviously, that's not going to, like, her foot's not going to bend, and she doesn't have an angle joint, so not really much you can do with that. That's unfortunate. Well, so that's a bummer. So I am really interested to see what people end up doing with these dolls, like, with these shoes, rather. Like, do you find a doll? That they can fit on and if so who so again some of them work i mean again this is an omg doll and this is one of the pair of heels the booties they work again i don't think you can even probably get her well you can you can get her foot into the sneaker so like if you don't mind her walking on her tiptoes you can definitely, definitely do that. The sneakers do fit. They're really cute. But, again, sadly, most of the fancy heels are too narrow. I do, however, think... Oh, my gosh. I, I can't because her, her skirt's too long. Let me see if I've got a different OMG doll here. Yeah, I think I've got the tennis one. She's got a short skirt on. Here we go. Here we go. Court cutie. She's got bare legs and shorts all the way up. So we can real quick pop her. Oh, and she's actually got socks on. Look at that. Cute. Let's try the really, really high boot on her and see if it'll fit. Because I don't know that it'll go all the way up her leg is the problem. Because while they have feet that fit, they have... A little bit more shapely legs. Okay, so if you want the boots to be scrunchy, if you don't mind the boots being like scrunched, then you can definitely do that look on an OMG doll and they fit. They'll definitely work. That's a cute look actually. Like, not with the skirt, obviously, but still, cute look. Okay, so that works. And let's see if there's anything else that I could try now that I've got a sock on her. Me, oh, here, this actually goes with her outfit. So let's see if I can get the pink and white sneaker on for her. Last thing before we go. Oh, yeah, her foot goes kind of right in there. So that's not bad. Now, I mean, again, because of the angle of their foot and their ankle, like, that's not an ideal look. You know, she's basically going to be walking on her tiptoes. But, I mean, hey, if, you know, if you don't mind that look, I think it's actually pretty cute. And what the heck, it, like, totally, totally goes with her outfit. I, I'd argue that I actually kind of like the sneaker better than the 
weird heels that she came with to play tennis in. So anyway, there you have it. There is my kind of janky version of Does the Fit Fit. Um, unfortunately, what we've learned is that the mini fashion shoes, the first series sneakers, like the actual mini brands sneakers that came out a couple weeks ago, were enormous for dolls. They were way too big for basically any doll um, because they were like really long but narrow. So they were they were too big for pretty much any. I think they might have looked okay on some Ken dolls in some certain situations, but that was pretty much it. So now that we have tried them on all of the major brands of dolls, unless I'm missing some off the top of my head, but we've tried Monster High G1. We've tried uh, Ever After High. We've got uh, OMG doll, regular standard Rainbow High. We've got a Barbie Made to Move. Um, I don't see anybody else like within arm's reach that I could try. That's another brand. Um, but that's, that's it. So that's what we have it for now. And we did end up finding the ultra rare with the beautiful silver glittery heels. And I will have the weight guide up. So thank you guys so much for signing in. Thank you for hanging out. If anybody has any questions, uh, stop by my Instagram and in the near future, I will do the live stream with the um, the Miniverse Lifestyles. I'm really sorry that didn't happen today. I will update um, the title of this live stream and also the, the info. Um, and in the future, I will try not to get so ahead of myself because clearly that was going to be too much doing that all in one. So thank you guys so much for being with me. And I hope you will stay tuned. I have the weight guides coming out really, really soon for all of the series one, two, and three miniverse. My son is in the back around yelling bye-bye. I think he's trying to tell me something. All right, see you later, guys. Thanks.